Hey guys, today is Monday, August 23rd, 2021. So as you guys know, today the FDA granted full approval for the Pfizer V. You guys know what I'm talking about. A clearing pathway to more mandates. But look at this connection that I found with Bill Gates. So he was born on August 28th, 1955. To today, uh... I said in my other videos, you gotta sometimes reverse the dates to see the connection. So, put the 823 over here and the 1028. And then you can see he was born 66 years, 66 days from today, but the dates reversed. And he was born in 1955. And look at this Microsoft. Founded in 1975, April 4th to today is 16,943 days, which equals the 1,955th prime. 1955, the year he was born. What a coincidence, huh? So I, I'm also looking at October 28th because that will be Bill Gates' 66th birthday. And it's also 28. 2,000 days after Obama was born and that brings me to the scene in iPet Goat 2 as I said the V falling down Obama's forehead V is the 22nd letter and there's going to be some event connecting Obama's birth date with the number 22 um, so that is a big date to watch October 28th but anyways, going back to when the FDA first issued emergency authorization for the Pfizer jab, it was on 12-11. Then on December 14th, the first person to receive it in the U.S. But what was really interesting about that date is it was an eclipse date, a total solar eclipse. So I mentioned several times before uh, eclipses are used as marker points so not only was that a solar eclipse date but it was the exact midpoint between the 2017 and 2024 total solar eclipse over the US exactly 1211 days before the, the 2024 one and 1211 days after the 2017 and going back to when it was approved on 12-11. No coincidence. All marker points with the eclipse. So, But anyways, um, I was kind of looking at these connections for the next two days. I wasn't going to make a video on it, but since I'm making this video, I will talk about this because it's uh, quite interesting. You know how they always said um, the capital raid... Uh, they refer that to an insurrection. Well, if you go back to when the Insurrection Act was created, well, tomorrow it will be exactly 11,191 weeks after. Then the cornerstone of the Capitol being laid exactly 11,900 weeks later. So two 9-11 connections with the Insurrection Act and the Capitol. So I found that interesting, but then also August 25th, once again, you just add one day to that and you still have a 9-11 connection for the 25th. So will there be some kind of uh, rioting or something like that um, coming up, maybe due to more mandates because of the approval today? So I'm not sure, but um, we'll see if anything happens, but just wanted to share this information with you guys and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.